Nature versus nurture is a debate about whether genetics or environment has a greater influence on human behaviour and development. Nature refers to the biological and genetic factors that shape our traits, while nurture encompasses the environmental influences, like upbringing and culture, that impact who we become. In this video, we'll explore the perspectives from people on both sides of this argument, then look at the ways we can take the best of both perspectives for a nuanced understanding of the debate. Let's start with a look at the nature perspective. The nature perspective argues that genetics play a crucial role in determining our behaviours, personality and physical traits. Scholars like Sir Francis Galton, a pioneer in the field of eugenics and cousin of Charles Darwin, were among the first to suggest that intelligence and ability are hereditary. He coined the term nature versus nurture and believed that human traits, including talent and intelligence, were primarily inherited. More recently, researchers in the field of behavioural genetics, like Robert Plowman, have used twin and adoption studies to show that many traits, such as intelligence and temperament, have a significant genetic component. OK, that was the nature side of things. But what about the role of nurture? Let's dive into this perspective now. The nurture perspective emphasises the role of environmental influences in shaping behaviour and development. John Locke, a 17th century philosopher, argued that the human mind is a tabula rasa, or blank slate shaped entirely by experience and learning. This view suggests that we are born without built-in traits and that all knowledge comes from sensory experience and perception. The nurture argument gained further support from behaviourists like B.F. Skinner and John Watson, who believed that behaviour could be shaped through conditioning and reinforcement. Albert Bandura, a key figure in social learning theory, demonstrated the importance of environment and observation in learning behaviours. His famous Bobo doll experiment showed that children could learn and imitate aggressive behaviour by observing adults. Bandura's work highlighted the significant impact that environment and social context have on shaping behaviour, supporting the nurture side of the debate. So those are the two sides of the debate. But recent scholarship has emphasised that nature and nurture both have a role to play in influencing outcomes, offering a middle perspective on this topic. This is called the interactionist perspective. The interactionist perspective suggests that while genetics provide a blueprint for development, environmental factors can shape, enhance or suppress these genetic tendencies. For example, a child with a genetic predisposition for musical talent may not develop their ability without exposure to music lessons or encouragement from their environment. So what do you think? Let's say we have a scale from 1 to 10. 1 represents the idea that nature completely determines outcomes, while 10 represents the idea that nurture is the only determining factor. In the middle, five represents the idea that nature and nurture have an equal role in influencing outcomes. Where do you sit on this scale? Let me know in the comments below.